Hi guys, I was surfing around on YouTube, which is so much fun, and I've learned some people are combining some things together to create like a foam. It inspired me to do some designs on these cute little nails. I'm gonna break it down step by step how to get those bubbles. Let's get started. So it's summertime for me now. So I thought a nice little beach scene because that's where I see bubbles and kind of foaming up is at the ocean. When the waves come in, you can sort of see it along the shoreline. So I thought it'd be kind of cute to do that. So I've got two colors. It's an ombre that I've done with gel polish. You can do this at home, actually. You just need some gel polish and some acetone and oil, and you mix it all together. So I've got a two-tone going here. These colors are just inspired from the ocean, the blue, of course, being the ocean, and this kind of sandy color for the sand. And in between that, we're going to lay in the foam. So I've got my blue, and it's just gel. Because this is gel polish, gel is really, I don't, I tried it once, you cannot ombre gel on a sponge. The best way to do it is with one of these brushes. If you don't have one of these brushes, you can literally get a brush like this, maybe at the art store or, or a dollar store or something, and you can just cut the bristles out the end, halfway through these bristles, and just cut them out so it has this little kind of a sparing kind of, and you'll see when I'm brushing it back and forth, but you can make one. So you want to get some polish and just put it halfway on the nail. And then, oh yeah, I did mix this other color to create the sand. And I'm just going to take two colors. Now, sand for you can be, you know, black sand, white sand golden sand. I'm going for more of a golden sand look. So I just combined two colors that weren't quite the sand color I was looking for. So I'm just combining these together to create that kind of golden sand look. So I've just got two colors. See, and I'm just mixing it to get the sand color that I'm looking for. I didn't mix a lot because I'm only doing one nail. Okay, now I'm just going to get the sand color on there. Now you could do two layers of this or one. I might just do one because we do have the ocean waves I'm gonna be putting on top. So you might not need two coats. You do this with nail polish, you could do it with a sponge and just sponge it on to get that ombre kind of look. And you don't really have to ombre it, I suppose, because the ocean waves are gonna lay over top the foamy stuff. I'm going to ombre it just because I don't want any hard edges. And literally when you're ombreing these things, you just take this ombre brush and just gently go back and forth. The more you kind of fuss with it, the more ombre it will be. It's actually quite effective. And then because gel settles, it'll just slowly start to settle. You can't really do this with polish. You could, you just have to work really fast because polish will dry as you're doing it. So then just give it a little bit of a nuke. Oh, you can remove this too. You don't want that to get. It'll cure as well? It will, because the light, well, it might not. It's far enough away, it might not. But you don't want to take any chances. So depending on your polish line that you're using, the gel polish, you just cure to the time that it tells you to cure to. This will be 30 seconds. Okay. Now it's up to you whether you want to do two coats or not. Gives it a nice solid color of blue. Right at the cuticle there. I have enough actually on here. It doesn't look like much, but I probably have enough I could scrape up. And there's quite a bit in my brush. I'm going to scrape that. Oh, yeah, look at that. You see how bumpy and lumpy it kind of looks? But like I say, this stuff, it kind of levels itself out. I'm going to take that brush again. And I do see how it is blue on one side of that brush. And, 
and the lighter color on the other. Make sure that you're doing the blue in the blue section and the lighter color in the lighter section. You don't want to swoop that around. And I'm just going to soften. See how you soften that hard line? Works pretty good. It's very effective actually. And just let it settle for a bit. I'm going to nuke it. 30 seconds. Okay, I'll take that out of there. Now this is where the fun part comes, where the foam comes in. Okay, so I don't do this all the time, of course. It's sort of a new technique that I'm seeing people do. So we're going to be doing a little experimenting. Now you want to get your white gel polish and we're going to put it on this dish. And I got a black dish so you can really see the polish. So I put some in here. Now I would have assumed acetone would have done it. So I put a little bit of acetone. You don't want too much, but you might want to add a little more as it goes because the more acetone, it seems to cause the little bubbles. So get some oil, any oil will do. And you want to drop it right on top. That should be enough. Let me just clean this brush because this brush, and you just want to clean it with alcohol. Now, because it's not nail polish, it's not going anywhere. I don't know if you can do this with nail polish. If you try it, let me know in the comments. I'm very curious. I love experimenting with this kind of stuff. Speaking of experimenting, if you guys are interested, I have a course coming up, a workshop September 15th in Vancouver. You can check my nailcareer.com website for all the information if you're interested. We're going to have fun building nails in the morning and decorating them all afternoon. This is great if you have no experience at all. It's going to be a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. The classes are not big, so we can really have fun doing nails together all day. So I'm going to mix this with a nice clean brush. Now the oil and the gel, they will kind of separate a little. But it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird texture. But as soon as you add, I'm going to try to do a tiny little bit. As soon as you add the acetone, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that caramel? It's, it's spreading out. Yeah, but it's bubbling, right? Oh, foaming action. See that? Yeah. Foaming. I see, yeah, I see that now. Not wild? Look at those bubbles. Okay, that's what I'm seeking is the bubbles. Now this looks kind of runny. I don't know if I did too much acetone, but let's see if we can get some of these bubbles up on here. And what I'm going to do is just lay the bubble out in kind of a, like a wave action. And I'm hoping I can still see those bubbles. It's not bad. I can see them. Let me see if I can get a different shape. I don't want the same shape every single time. The ocean kind of comes in different. You know how it kind of bubbles up when it, when it comes into shore like that? <laughs> That's cute. Maybe you should try the brush angled a bit so it's not such a thick white wave. Okay. Listen to you, cameraman. I've seen waves. Oh, yeah, right. Uh -huh. What do you mean not so thick? Kind of like a, just well, like a thinner amount? Yes, yeah, it's, it's okay. a narrow band going okay. across. There, you like that one. That's better. Like now, sometimes I notice the waves will overlap, so I'm going to try this kind of look. But I need more bubbles in there. Now, because I'm all about experimenting, let's see if I clean my brush here a little bit. If I just take the acetone, not too much, and then directly onto the nail, will it create more bubble? Nah, it didn't. I'm gonna put some more back in there. Okay, now I just got the pinky. I'm gonna gather some more bubbles over here. Oh, see the blue is kind of crossing over. I think I need to go up there a little bit more because you wouldn't see the blue water like that. Okay, we just got the thumb. I'm not seeing, well, there's not a bad amount of bubbles there, but let me see if I get a little bit more acetone. Will it react a bit more? You see that? Kind of I think the meh. foaming action stopped now. I, I know, I think it has a time frame of foaming action, doesn't it? Yeah, the chemical reaction. Yeah. Okay, so let's put some more 
white polish, another drop of oil. Maybe I'll mix it all together as opposed to just doing the oil first. Maybe that will, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, okay, well they're bigger bubbles. Maybe that'll work good for my thumb. I hope I can pick up those big bubbles. through the other was so opaque right it's it really thick in comparison right okay well i can probably take some away oh yeah although i kind of like that it's pretty nice cute now the question is when do you nuke it i don't think you should nuke this for a bit because it's pretty runny right and i'm afraid if i oh i wouldn't put the top coat on yet right so i have to nuke it a bit first so you don't want it too foamy because the more it pops, the more bubbles will appear. I wonder if it takes longer to nuke. I mean, honestly, whoopsie. By putting the acetone in there, that's what breaks gel down, right? So by putting the acetone in there, we're diluting the gel. It's not going to be working at its capacity of strength by any means because we're diluting it so much. But it's just for design. We're not looking for it for any type of strength, really. So let's nuke it. How long? Well, gel wants to be nuked for 30 seconds and it's got oil in there too. So it's really going to stop it from wanting to cure properly. But that's where you would top coat it on top. Now, some people are noticing when they were doing their designs, they were adding alcohol ink. So there may be so many more designs coming up with it before we know it. But I thought it'd be cute as the little ocean. Three seconds. Okay, so now, if we want to really make sure people think that this is the ocean, I think we should put little starfishes on there. Don't you think? They're always cute. They're always cute. Very cute. Very cute. Okay, so I've got a few choices here. What color are starfishes? Oh, it depends where you are. What part of the world? We have purple ones here. Purple. Yeah, there's a lot of brownish orange ones. Oh, I think I dropped the color that I was thinking. Oh, please tell me there's this color starfishes. Well, I don't know. There is today. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen one like that, to be honest with you. But hey, there probably is. There's it just a lot. has there's to be. a great variety in the has ocean. has to be a color. And maybe a little gold one. So here's a great way. You want a little tiny brush. Little tiny brush. Look at that little tiny brush. You can pick these up at an art store too. So I think the best way to do a little starfish, they're actually quite cute. You can give them a little bit of character. Do like a dot in the center. Get a bit of gel on there. And then just literally bring this brush and do your first little starfish point up. and then do it out and give it a little flick at the end. And when it moves up, it, it has a little bit of character. Looks cartoony. You want the other starfish this way. That was probably too big of a circle. And then pull it down for the two little bottom starfish. See what I mean about giving it a little bit of a kick up with the starfish leg. It just gives a little bit of personality. Cute. I mean, you could get crazy. You could you could get some gems here that are shaped like starfish, like you can make little shell ones. There's lots of little things in the nail world you could put on there. I'm just gonna give it a quick nuke so it doesn't run while I do some more. Let's do a gold one too, maybe. Okay, 
So I just have to decide if I want to add any more starfish. Hmm. Anyway, I'll keep doing the rest, but I think I think we should check out the pictures. What do you think, cameraman? The reveals, you mean? Yeah, they're going to be cute. Yeah. Okay, let's check it out. So cute. So I don't know if you noticed, when I put the top coat on, notice how it bubbled a little bit? It's probably because of the acetone and the alcohol. It was not really happy with that because you can't really nuke acetone, but it leveled right out. It smoothed right out. I will say, look at that purple starfish. Cameraman, you were right on that. I kind of wish I put some more purple starfish. I added gold starfish. There's no such thing as gold starfish, is there? Well, there's kind of Orangey, yellowy ones, maybe. I don't know, gold. Do they have glitter on them? I haven't seen them with glitter ever. No. Well, mine do. And that's the beauty of creating your own nails. So I've got colored starfish that doesn't exist and glitter gold starfish. But they are nails. What I did notice when you put the top coat on, the bubbles popped right up. You can really see them really good. So that worked out really cute. I like it. Hmm. I'm going to have to try it again in another design. So do you guys have some time for questions? <laughs> Nobi asks, Susie, are dipping powders interchangeable between brands? Well, with acrylic and monomer, liquid monomer, no, I wouldn't recommend that so much because you can't guarantee the product's going to work well enough together, like it's going to maybe suffer some service breakdown. Liquid and powder, they're meant to go together. Uh, gel, when you do the gel line, you want to use the base coat and the top coat, the same that goes with it and the light that goes with it. All these things are meant to work together. As far as dipping brands, Interchangeable? Well, that's a good question because dipping brands are made with, uh, they work with resin, with like a glue. Um, but once it's cured on it, I'm not so sure if mixing the different brands would, oh, Critter's in here, and he wants out, would be an issue because it's glue and once it's cured, it might not be a problem. Caraman's going to let him out. <laughs> so it is a good question. If you were, I don't think that, I, you know what? If you've got a great company you're buying from, ask the company directly. If you run out of dipping powder, can you use a different dipping powder? Ask them directly and see what they say. That's a great question. I'm going to look into that one a bit more. Next question. MLR88. Hi, Susie. When you say alcohol, do you mean rubbing alcohol? In brackets, surgical spirits here in UK. Or is it special nail alcohol? Well, I don't mean vodka. <laughs> but um, it's just isopropyl alcohol. 70% is pretty good. That's all I mean. And it's not especially nail alcohol. They don't sell like nail alcohol, but you can buy it in distribution stores and even nail supply stores that is for the nails, but it's not nail alcohol. It's not labeled that way. And I don't mean rum or anything like that either. Small Eyes Beauty. Hi, beautiful. I seem to have a lot of trouble with the forms not sticking together. They pop open and not keeping the form shape. Any suggestions for keeping them stuck together while forming the nail? Yes, they can be very frustrating. So there could be a couple things happening here. Um, maybe when you're sticking it together, some forms will pop up if you don't really press on it. Let me grab one here. I've got one. Okay, so there also could be that the form you're using is just not that sticky. That could be the part of the problem. Um, so this is a form right here. And when I'm putting that form on, I want to make sure that it is stuck together. And sometimes they will pop open. If it's a continual problem, maybe it's just not that great of a form. Um, but you can take, a lot of people will do this. I find the forms that I'm using, I don't have to do that. And I use these ones all the time and I never have that issue. But you can take the little circle that's off the paper and some people will clamp it onto the tip but just make sure that the little circle is actually sticking to itself. Because if you just put the form, the circle on top of the whole form, it might still pop open. You want to have some of it holding it together. Okay. That'll stop it from popping, popping, <laughs> popping open at the end. So she also asks, any suggestions for sticking them together? Yeah, this would be the suggestion that I have if you're, you know, continuing to do that. You might as well use the forms that you have now. Try that little circle at the bottom and see if that'll hold it together a little bit longer. Also, too, the product is pretty much curing. If you're doing gel, it's curing right away into the light. If it's cured with acrylic, you, they cure in about two or three minutes. You can just pop the form right off. Maybe take it off before it pops open again. But I know what you're talking about. That can be so frustrating. Great question. Tiny force, that's cute. Does Critter ever jump up on the table while filming? 
He did once when we had uh, Elizabeth from the Nail Hub, but that was during her interview. So you'd have to go to her channel to see it. But I would like him to jump up. But I will tell you, it's a pain because he comes with all this very, very fine fur. <laughs> So that's a great question. He has jumped up when we weren't filming, though, didn't he, cameraman? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just got to be in there. He's, I think he's just a little bit of a show off. He just wants to get in on it. Well, that's great. Those are all the questions. Those are great questions. Thanks so much, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little beach to tell. I think let's go to the beach now, cameraman. Sure. It's beautiful. We're lucky. We're five minutes from everything. Thanks for joining me, you guys. We'll catch you in the next video. Hey!